Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. Um, today I wanted to talk about how to authenticate a Longchamp Le Playage tote. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil Ferla, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So before I start this video, of course, I want to give the disclaimer that I'm not an expert. This is just my learnings from Snob Affair and from the Purse Forum. I will link some resources down below for um, how I kind of learned to authenticate a Longchamp bag, but definitely take all of this with a grain of salt. And if you know anything um, about older versions of Longchamp Le Playage bags or, you know, little tweaks or changes they might do here or there, please definitely leave that in the comments so that we can all kind of learn from each other. So the reason I wanted to do this video is because I have purchased uh, two Longchamp bags pre-loved and I think it's a great way to save money on these bags if you know how to authenticate and make sure you don't get a fake. Um, so I purchased this um, small Le Playage tote from Poshmark for $16 plus shipping and I purchased this large Le Playage tote for $40 from Poshmark. Um, the small Longchamp is definitely more worn and a little bit... Uh, more beat up, I think, than the large one. So the small Longchamp is kind of a good um, indication for what the bag should look like if you're getting one that's maybe a little bit more worn, a little bit more loved. So I'm going to split this video into kind of three parts. The first is I'm going to start with the exterior and I'm going to talk about the uh, leather and then I'm going to talk about the hardware and then I'm going to talk about kind of the nylon and the construction of the bag. And then I'm going to talk about the interior of the bag, specifically the plastic tag on the inside. So starting with the exterior and the leather, um, the first thing you'll notice is that these bags both have leather in three places. One is the flap on top of the zipper, then is the handles, and then the tabs on the corners um, of the zipper. So this leather is not a pebble leather. It has a very specific pattern and it has this diamond pattern on it. You can see here um, that the diamond pattern has um, a darker colored leather on the inside of the diamond and then the actual cross hatches of the diamonds are a lighter color of leather. So this is actually a really easy way to start telling um, a, an authentic Longchamp from a cheaper fake because a lot of the cheaper fakes will use a um, pebbled leather or you know a pebbled fake leather um, that looks absolutely nothing like this and that pebble leather will have all just one color on it one stain instead of this dark and light pattern that you can see here um, The other thing you can see on the flap or on kind of the entire bag is this contrast stitching So you can see that you have like a beige stitching on the top here and that is true also on the handles as well as this little tab right here for this contrast stitching, the uh, stitching itself, you know, is beige on the top, but on the undersides of the stitching for the flap and the tabs, the stitching is actually a brown color to kind of blend in with the leather. You can see that there. So for those of you who are familiar with like a sewing machine, I would say like the bobbin thread is a darker brown color, whereas the top is this beige color. And that is true on these tabs as well. And I think that's a really, really easy way to tell a, um, a fake bag from a real bag because that kind of detail is a detail that not even, I think, the most careful um, replica manufacturers would notice. Um, speaking of the seams, on the back of the flap, you can see here that there are two seams holding the flap in place, one on the bottom and then one kind of in the middle there. Both of the bags, or you know, all Longchamp bags, have a very light black glazing along all of the leather trim. So the handles have a black glazing, the flap has a black glazing all around it, and then the tabs have a black glazing all along the sides here. This glazing is very um, thin, in my opinion. So you know, it's not like something like a um, like a coach bag where the glazing is like kind of a big gob of rubbery type stuff. This is just a very light coating of color onto the leather and you can feel the texture of the leather underneath this like this is definitely not smooth you can feel kind of the sides of that suede type um, interior of the leather and even more so on my small lip playage which like I said is a little bit more worn you can see here that the glazing has basically worn off um, so that it's like a lighter gray color and you can start to see more and more of that actual leather coming through very very light black glazing um, and just showing you the sides here so it's all along the sides of this leather as well. And then along the sides of the flap.
Um, speaking of the leather, the leather is very thick. This is not some kind of like uh, genuine leather or very thin leather like something like Coach would use at its outlet bags. This leather is, to me, it feels like a kind of thick top grain or full grain leather. Um, and if I'm just um, measuring the leather, you can see here that the leather is about two millimeters thick which is pretty thick leather and that's consistent throughout the entire bag. So you can see here like on the sides of the handle, it is still two millimeters thick. Um, so that's another way to be able to tell a reel from a fake is this leather is obviously real leather first of all and then it's very thick. Whereas something like a fake bag I think could either use something like genuine leather which would be very very thin and flimsy or um, a fake vegan leather, which would not feel, you know, obviously like this leather does. The flap of the bag is stamped in two places, both on the front and the back. So the flap has this very deep stamp of a jockey on a horse, and it's so deep that it actually goes to the other side of the flap, and the other side of the flap, of course, is this suede-like material, because it is just the underside of this, you know, completely, um, completely one piece of leather. So it's like the raw side of the leather. Um, and the other stamping on the uh, flap is the text back here. So this says, well, this is a little hard to read. Let me turn on a light. So this says Longchamp Le Playage Shopping Dash Modele Dispose. And it might be hard for you to see here, um, but the E in Modele has an accent and the um, ending E in Dispose also has an accent. And obviously I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because I have never taken like a French class. Um, the accents on the E's, it's gonna be really hard to tell. Um, like on my bag, I hardly even see the accents. They're actually facing different ways. Um, so this is a great time to look at the Snob Affair article so that you can kind of see what those accents should look like because I really don't think that you're gonna be able to see it on my bag in particular. Um, so a couple other things to notice about the stamping is that the um, shopping in Le Playa Shopping is actually in double quotes. Let me see if you can see that better on my small Le Playa. Yeah, that's much clearer. So you can see it says shopping in double quotes there and then you have a dash. And you can see that the stamping is placed above the seam. So you can see it says Longchamp above the seam. And then the um, Le Playa Shopping Modele de Soze is placed between these two seams holding the top flap. So now moving on to the hardware. So there are you know three pieces of hardware on this bag. The front button, the zipper pull and like the zipper in general, and then the back button that helps the bag fold closed for that really compact, travel-friendly um, feature. So starting with the front button, um, again, I'm gonna take the one that's in a little bit better condition, and let me turn off the light again so you have less of a glare. You can see that this says Longchamp, and then it says 1948. And then there in the middle of the button is actually a stylized jockey on a horse, and it's kind of hard to see um, but the jockey is, his little head is right there, and then that's his body, and the horse is like kind of what he is sitting on. So that's the head of the horse right there, and that is the back of the horse right there. So the undersides of the buttons say different things on my two bags. So the underside of this button actually says Longchamp, and then it has a bunch of little um, like mill grain type pattern, um, both on the outside and the inside of that button. But the um, underside of the button on my small life playage actually says original PRYM 6 slash 4B. But it does still have that kind of mill grain pattern. So they do say something a little bit different on each of the buttons. The um, other part of the button, it doesn't say anything. It's not stamped with anything. You just see that kind of like sunshine or sun rays kind of pattern where it has like those um, slashes, I guess, or like, you know, lines. And then the back button, again, is very similar. You just have those lines. But that is not true on the large one. So you can see here, this button does not have those dashed 
kind of lines. And similarly on the bottom here, you don't have those like lines. So the zipper pulls also have a little bit of detail. So if you look here, um, this says Longchamp 1948. And then you have a jockey on a horse again. That's the little head of the jockey and that is the head of the horse over there. Um, the zipper does have like a bit of flexibility. You can see that it does move around. The um, zipper pull says, or the, you know, the top of the zipper says YKK there. And then it has a little T in the corner there. And then the other side of the zipper actually says 45. Four on top of a five. So that is all of the hardware. Now in terms of the construction of the exterior of the bag, um, you can see that there's only a couple seams. So on the sides here, you have one seam going down, you have one seam going on the edge of the bottom, and again, similarly on the other side. So this is actually constructed, I think, out of one piece of nylon. Um, the large bag looks exactly the same where you just have um, those two seams. Now, this creates the kind of infamous sharp long shot corners, which you can see here. These corners tend to get worn even on, you know, the most authentic bags, so that should not be an indication to you of anything. This nylon is very thick, but it does tend to wear um, in those corners. Also, in terms of the construction, you can see there's a double stitching here by the zipper. So, you know, there's two stitches holding the zipper in place and holding that seam closed. Um, in terms of how the handles are sewn onto the bag, you can see here, so the handles are rolled, and you can kind of see that. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that the handles are rolled, so, you know, this is another leather detail of the bag, but they're not rolled in, like, a perfectly cylindrical spot. They're just a piece of leather that's been folded over, so you can see it's, like, been folded here, and this side is flat. Um, so if you do get a bag that has a perfectly round um rolled handle, then you know that that's not authentic. And, you know, honestly, this is out of necessity, this, the way they constructed this, because the leather is so thick. So that, you know, that's another way, like if the leather is really thin on your bag, maybe they could make um, the leather, the handle perfectly uh, cylindrical. But uh, the rolled part of the handle does not get attached to the bag. Instead, there are these kind of tabs that are on the end of the rolled handle. And, you know, this is all one piece of leather. So this part of the leather gets folded into the handle. You can see that there, but they left a little bit um, of the handle unrolled so that the handle can kind of flop over like that when you kind of wear in the bag a little bit and um, are you know letting it rest or something so the handles can be out of the way. Um, the only other thing on the exterior of the bag is the stitching for the interior pocket. So you can see here that the stitching for the interior pocket on my small lip playage is exactly the same size as the flap. It kind of ends right here and right here. That's not true on the large bag. So, you know, this is the flap and the um, stitching for the exterior pocket is right there and right there. So it's much wider than the actual flap. So next, moving to the interior of the bag, um, this is my large Longchamp bag, which I still have some of my work stuff in it, but the most important thing on the interior is this plastic tag. Um, and this tag, the most important thing is to check where the bag was made and also to check whether the style number matches the bag that you have. So um, the tag starts off with a bunch of kind of letters on the top and then it says Longchamp Paris. Um, and so... So those numbers on the top don't actually mean anything. Um, I thought when I first bought my first Longchamp, I thought the M meant that um, this was a medium tote, but it's not. Uh, it's, it's just an M there for something else. Um, and then if you just scoot all the way down to the made in China. Um, so these bags are made in three places, made in France, made in Tunisia, and made in China. So if you have a different country there, as far as I know, um, you should maybe be skeptical. And then skipping down to the last row of numbers here, that is actually the style number and color. So this is a really great way to be able to tell whether someone um, has an authentic bag because the style number should obviously match the style of the bag that you're buying, and then the color should obviously match the color. 
So for a large Longchamp Le Playage bag, the style number is exactly what's here. It's 1899089. Um, and then the colors, you know, there will be um, a link down below that snob affair list, which has a bunch of colors and their associated numbers. But for my bag, black, the um, color number is 001. And similarly, for my small Longchamp Le Playage bag, you can see here, so the tag is a bit faded. Um, but you can still see it says made in China. And then the number here is 2605089. Um, and that is the style number for the small uh, Le Playage tote with the long handles. So for me, obviously, both of the style numbers do match the bag that I have. The other part of the interior of bag is the actual like interior. Um, so the interior of the black Le Playage bags is this black kind of plasticky um, type material. It is not the same nylon as the outside of the Le Playage bags. Uh, if you have like a lighter color, the interior will be a white, which is um, a little bit different. So, you know, what I'm telling you here, or what I'm showing you here is only pertinent if you have the black version. Um, the other thing you can see on the interior is the stitching is all coordinated. So the, all of the stitching is black, although you do see here that when they stitched on the flap and the top handles, some of that top uh, beige thread did kind of show through. And this is pretty typical, I think, of the Longchamp bags. Um, so the seams in the interior are kind of folded over like this. You can see here that you have the raw edge of the interior with the black stitching and then they're folded over to create a nice like clean seam. And then the, um, on the interior you have the uh, other side of the exterior button and this is the button on the back of the bag that is used to fold the bag into its nice small travel friendly shape. And inside, where that button is attached, there is a little plastic guard. And you can see um, that right here. Uh, the only other thing on the inside is the interior pocket. So this pocket actually is nylon, and this is the same nylon as the exterior of the bag. So the lining of the bag is that plasticky fabric, but this is the same nylon as the exterior. And in my large Le Playage tote, that is true as well. So you can see that's the nylon, whereas this is kind of the plasticky type fabric. So yeah, that is how I, um, you know, authenticate Longchamp Le Playage totes. Um, if you guys have any other tips or any other thoughts about authenticating a Longchamp, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your input or your tips as well. Uh, let me know if this was helpful, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!